foursome. Daughter all stage, mother all screen. They sit in a bright foursome one Saturday night in San Antonio in a Riverwalk cafe at an outdoor table. The blonde in her twenties, clear-eyed, her voice inaudible to me, but obviously speaking forcefully, cutting off every word for effect, projecting each with head-bobbing emphasis. Her still attractive mother, beside her too, the younger woman's very image, twins twenty years apart. The elder one, smartly bespectacled, her mature noddings less oversized. The young one plays to imagine galleries, though, with exaggerated body language, telegraphs every affect to the last balcony. In her personal melodrama, doing extreme surprise, her eyes suddenly huge, or playing larger-than-life amusement, her head pumping vehement approval, eyelids fluttering, then her golden hair thrown back abandonedly, full-throated laughter tossed into the night like Greek crockery, shattering festively. Mother to her right, picking up daughter's body rhythms, but greatly underplaying them. While a bald man, who may be the woman's husband, the girl's father, blandly tells a story, fingers measuring invisible fish. Mother, at his punchline, merely smiles as if enjoying an old friend's eccentricities seems confident that the invisible close-up cameras always will be kind to her, will pick up even her smallest shadings of expression. And only the fourth person at the table, a young man with his back to me, only he is unreadable. Apparently the unshakable hand behind the spotlight, the calm center at the very eye of this family's theatrical storm.